used to teach American history to kids from the inner city. I had to come up with gangster analogies to relate the material. We were doing American history of the 1900s. I was like, the 1900s, imagine you're at a party. You got your French homie and your British homie. And then a German dude comes up, starts picking on your homies. You knock the German dude out, pow! And the whole party's like, damn. You know, the party stops serving alcohol, your weed gets all dry, you put all your money on the dice games, and the dice games crash. You're like, oh, hell not, depression. And then the German dude comes back and starts picking on your Jewish homie. You're like, what the hell? But then you get socked in the back of the head by a Japanese dude. Oh, shoot. Take out the German dude and the Japanese dude. Pop, pop. The whole party's like, damn. Now you see two Korean twin brothers fighting. One's in red, one's in blue. You help out the one in blue because you're a crip. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, shoot, I'm going to holler at this Vietnamese Ho Chi Minh, right? That's her name, Chi Minh. She's a hoe. You're like, What's up, Ho Chi Minh? You looking good, girl. She splashes the orange soda back in your face. Meanwhile, across the party, there's a Russian dude straight staring you down. Really cool. The Russian dude's like, what? You're like, what? And nothing ever happens. <laughs> You burn up the rug, you chase him out the party, he disappears for 10 years. You give your Somalian homie a sandwich, you hook up with a girl named Monica in the bathroom, the party's like, damn. You're like, my bad. And that's the 1900s right there. That's all I did.